Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to Quantum Kuti. So today in this video I am going to talk to you how to do the uh, Fukui function calculation and analysis. And I will use uh, DML3 tool to do the Fukui function analysis. And you can use Gaussian software also to uh, use this uh, Fukui function. In that case you have to manually optimize your molecule in a neutral with the cation and with the anion and then you have to use formula to find out the Fukui function parameters and if you are using DMOL3 software you can directly find out the Fukui function values well, let's get started so before doing uh, calculation you should have on uh, your molecule whatever molecule you want to do for the Fukui function analysis that molecule you first optimize uh, in DMO3 software using whatever methodology you, you want to use. Suppose uh, right now in DMO3 uh, what I have used is I have this molecule of interest here and this molecule I am going to optimize using DMO3 using GGAPB method and using TNPB set and I will just calculate the here itself I will give the frequency calculation and the Fukui function. Fukui, uh, the frequency calculation will tell you about the minimum of this molecule, whether it is minimum or not. And the Fukui function will give you the uh, parameters for the nucleophilicity and the electrophilicity of your molecule in the section where it is electrophilic and nucleophilic. So once you have uh, this setup here, everything you need to select, select the quality and the level of theory, use symmetry here go to more menu and you, since it is a molecule so this will be not visible this optimizer you use fine quality here no need to change anything go to the electronic no need to change anything over here go to the properties and here you select frequency and the uh, Fukui function in the frequency you can select whatever uh, if you want to calculate Raman you can select it in the Fukui you just select on the F plus F minus and F zero which is the uh, cation, anion and the radical, it will be calculated simultaneously. If you are using Gaussian, you have to calculate manually. Then you have to do the manually all those addition and subtraction to find the this Fukui function. Here you can directly click, it will do everything. Now go to the job control, give the parallel processors and the RAM and run the calculation. When this, uh, this calculation will start running, once this is over, what you can see? Uh, you will be getting this output structure, this XST file which is the output, double click here and go to this analysis and in this case you can, mm, suppose you want to see the, if you have done the orbital calculations also, I mean frequency calculations, uh, you can see the orbitals also, if you have done the orbital calculation you can see the homolomo and everything here. So you just go down, homolomo will be uh, same here. So go slowly down and your homo and lumo if you want to be, well, suppose you want to visualize any of the MOs you can see without any problem. See here you can see homo is the uh, orbital number 107 and the lumo is the orbital number 108. You just click on the homo and click on the view ISO surface and import. Your homo will be shown here in the screen. Right? So this is the homo of your molecule. So using this DMO3 also you can do this homo homo analysis. Fine. And similarly you can click on the LUMO and you can generate the LUMO and see the LUMO structure or whatever this thing. And now we have done the Fukui function calculation, right? So you can click on the Fukui. Okay. And see here it is electrophilic. Means uh, if there will be two, three things. Electrophilic, nucleophilic and the radical. If you are clicking on the electrophilic, just click on the electrophilic and click on uh, assign this is the uh, charges whatever you are using and click on import once you are doing this uh, Fukui F minus which is the electrophilic whatever blue color lobes you are seen on the screen these are the electrophilic centers okay so these are the electrophilic centers means nucleophile will attack here similarly you just clear this and we'll, uh, go for the nucleophilic. And I'll assign this and go to import and it will give you the nucleophilic centers. Yes, these are the centers where electrophile can 
these are the electron rich centers okay where electrophile can attack so this is the way you can get the uh, fukui function in a calculation and you can see this law and suppose you want to use this for publication you can export this as a bmp images go to the bmp dot bmp and you can get this with my uh, pictures and you can use for your full analysis okay uh, and other than that so we have seen the fukui function and if you want to see the frequency okay uh, we have done the frequency calculations also right so just open the output structure output file this is the output file and here you go down you can see here itself uh, these are the since i have done the uh, this uh, frequency calculation so when you are doing the frequency calculation your thermodynamic properties will be also calculated and so you can go to the xst file go to the demol3 you can go to the analysis and go to the thermodynamic properties and click on view so you can see one plot here and this plot green color this uh, parrot green color is the enthalpy and this uh, light blue color is the entropy and red color is the heat capacity and the blue color is the uh, blue color is the entropy and that light blue color is the free energy this is the plot versus property values and the temperature okay and you can simply copy this and you can paste in your uh, directly paste as a picture in your uh, powerpoint so you can get this or you can manually plot it by you can export this in your uh, export menu in a .csv format that is a comma separated file format and you will be getting an excel sheet and you can plot it manually okay so like that you can plot this or if you want to see this value open the output file this out mole file and go down here also you will see one table at the different temperature you can see this entropy enthalpy and heat everything is here and you can use for your further analysis and all of this calculation has already incorporated the zero point uh, zero point correction and all so this is uh, all about this demo3 uh, uh, molecular analysis, homonomo calculation, and the Fukui function calculation, and the frequency analysis, and all. So, if you want to see the frequency, you can go up and you can see the frequency even if it is negative or not. If there is a negative frequency, you have to do the re optimize, you have to follow that and you have to re optimize it. Okay. If there is no negative frequency, means your system is already a minima, you can further use that information for further calculation. Don't forget to like and subscribe my videos okay if you have any further doubts you can put in the comment section and if you want to use this information for your research purpose and if you want to have a collaboration or if you want to include me as an author in your paper you can contact me in my email i'll put in the description you can contact me there so that if you want to have an interaction for your paper or you want to need to be an author in your paper and you want to give a contribution if you think my videos are uh, informative and useful for you you're welcome thank you for watching videos don't forget to share the videos